If you need to replace a support post, fix a sagging floor, or need a secondary support post, a jack post will do the job. Ensure that the jack is rated to support the load. The jack should have two plates, an adjusting screw, two pins or carriage bolts and nuts, two sections of post. One post has a larger diameter than the other. Put one of the plates flat side down directly under the beam that you want to support. You may want to protect the flooring with a piece of wood. Drop a plumb bob from the center of the beam to the floor. Or if you don't have a plumb bob, you can make your own with a string and a key. Then center the plate under the plumb bob. It doesn't have to be perfect, just close. Mark the plate location. I've temporarily fastened it with painter's tape so it doesn't slide around. If it's a permanent installation, fasten the plate with screws. Temporarily fasten the plate to the bottom of the beam. Center it on the mark that you use for the plumb bob. For this application, it wouldn't be wise to put the plate directly on the beam. It might mar the wood. And also, you're pushing on the center of this box beam. You want to put a piece of wood uh, across like this and then the plate on the underside of it. For best support under a wood structure, it's recommended that the larger diameter post be placed against the beam and the smaller diameter post be placed against the floor. If supporting a steel beam, do the opposite and put the smaller post on top and the larger diameter post on the floor. Put the adjusting screw into this position. You may want to grease the threads so it turns easily. For smaller spans, insert the smaller diameter post into the larger diameter post. The larger diameter post's holes should be on this end. If the span's larger, flip the post around and install the hole end of the smaller diameter post into the larger diameter post. Install the adjusting screw into the smaller diameter post. Support the adjusting screw and pick up the post. Place it onto the bottom plate. Lift the large diameter post and expand it to the maximum length where the holes meet up. Then insert the pins or the carriage bolts. And it's a long span You'll need a helper to hold the post steady while you turn the adjusting screw. If the nut on the adjusting screw needs to travel a lot of a distance, you can remove it and move it manually. On this screw, one full turn equals about two sixteenths of an inch. If you don't have a helper, the post will be hard to control, and if the plate is set on top of the post, it will likely fall down on top of you. The sharp edges could easily cause a need for stitches. To lengthen the post, turn in this direction. When you feel the first resistance while tightening the adjusting screw, stop. The post is now slightly compressed. The top plate should look like this with the top post covering the raised circle in the center of the plate. Put a level on two sides of the post to make sure that it's plumb. This post will wiggle a little bit at the joint. It's now safe to lift the load. Do so slowly while monitoring the plates. The post can sometimes walk a little bit as you're turning it. 
You may have to hold on to the nut while turning the adjusting screw. Sometimes it will spin on the post. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.